you've clicked on this video, which means that you want to boost your FPS in Valorant. So I'm going to show you a couple of things within Windows that you can adjust to hopefully fetch some of those extra frames. Starting off then, let's make sure that your Windows Power Plan is set to the best performance option available to you. Look for power and sleep settings in your Windows search bar. And from here, go to additional power settings and you want to choose high performance or ultimate performance. If you don't have either of these options, make sure you click into change plan settings, change advanced power settings. And from here, there's two options you want to look at. You want to go into the process power management and you want to click minimum processor state and maximum processor state. You want these both ideally set to 100%. I do have mine a little lower on the minimum though, just because I don't want it running at maximum while idling all the time. What this will do is set your CPU to run at its maximum performance as much as it can. This isn't technically overclocking, but it does pin it to almost 100% if you have it set to that, just to make sure that everything is running as best as possible. Realistically, you've probably already done that saying before, but we do still have a bunch of others that you might not have tried yet, so make sure you stick around and check out the rest of the video. Before showing the rest of those settings though, I do recommend checking out this video on the screen here. It's a video I've done before for Valorant and boosting your FPS, but don't want to click it just yet. I'll leave a card to it in the top right, um, it'd be a bit more in-depth and show you a couple more settings for both Windows, uh, Nvidia, and also maybe a couple of the in-game settings that you might have already done before, but there's a couple that are a little bit experimental, um, and I would recommend following along with the ones that I do in the video. I will link it at the end of this video right here now, just so that you can watch this one first and then go check out the more in-depth one after. Right, kicking off again with some more settings. What you want to do is type in graphics into your search bar again in Windows and you should be met with this screen here. Now there's two options, or at least there should be two options for you, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and variable refresh rate. Well, I would recommend turning both of these off straight away. I've had a lot of trouble with the scheduling in the past, uh, particularly with Warzone and other Call of Duties that have created a lot of stuttering and hitching, and the variable refresh rate is a setting you should have off anyway. Uh, going into G-Sync and FreeSync, a lot of that is just a completely different topic, a different video, and I would recommend checking out more in-depth guides on that to do that, but keep refresh rate off and keep the scheduling off. Now, the bottom setting here, the performance preference, I have tested with Call of Duty, but I didn't notice a massive difference, to be completely honest with you, and I wouldn't recommend changing this for Valorant. Also, I see a lot of videos about Valorant, particularly FPS boost videos, where it is going into some pack or some uh, downloadable thing that they have. A lot of these have viruses in. I wouldn't recommend downloading any packs that say they're going to optimize anything for you. Do it all yourself. Learn. That's the best thing you can do. Educate yourself on what you what you can change. And uh, yeah, don't don't download anything that people say on the internet. Now this next trick is a little bit more unknown and it's what a lot of optimizers do that when you pay for their service and it is editing the animations and transparency within Windows. So I'll go into a little bit of detail about some of those now. What you want to do is type in animations on Windows and you'll open it up and see this screen here. Scroll down a little bit and you're looking for these two settings here. Show animations in Windows and show transparency in Windows. Turn both of those off and they will blanket straight away, turn off a lot of the settings that you don't want to mess about with. There is however a second part to this which is a little bit more technical to find. Now the next thing you want to do is go on to view advanced system settings and you'll be met with this screen here. Make sure that you're on advanced and make sure that you can see performance. What you want to do is click on settings under the performance section and you'll be met with this screen here. What I would say to do is to copy down the settings I have here. I'll make sure that you can see them more perfectly and I'll quickly explain roughly what it is that they do. Windows likes to make things smoother on their operating system and makes your experience a lot better. So some of these options will be about how you move around the windows and it'll smooth them out a little bit. Some of them will be to do with the thumbnails and animations on the icons and things like that. A lot of it is just waffle though when you're playing games because you don't use any of that. It is a little bit to get used to sometimes if you aren't used to maybe a little bit janky. Um, I say janky. It's more just the smoothness of this and you can even enable some of them again as well. But a lot of it is just settings that you don't even notice or don't really care for, especially when you're gaming. So just copy down the settings I have here and you'll be good to go. Finally, quickly, because I know it's not in the other video that I'm going to recommend, um, I would come into Task Manager real quick. So you can right click at the bottom here. You can search it up in the search bar, wherever. Come into Task Manager, disable any apps that you don't use or whatever. Everyone knows these usual tricks. Make sure you disable apps you don't use, but also come into Startup and disable any applications that you don't use on a regular basis. I keep Steam disabled because I don't always load up Steam games. A lot of things like that can just be disabled straight away. Only keep enabled things that you know you use on a daily, regular basis. Um, and this should help a little bit just with the amount of apps that start up and you shouldn't have to close things every day. And so yeah, you've now set your CPU to perform at its maximum um, achievable performance. You've told your GPU what you don't want it to do in your graphic settings. You've told Windows that you don't want all of its fancy animations and transparency effects going on, especially while you're in a game. So now what we need to do is go and watch this video here. I'll leave a link to it now. 
and copy the settings I have in game for Valorant, look at some of the NVIDIA control panel settings I go over, and I do also go through a couple more Windows options that I didn't mention here. This combined with the uh, current video you're watching will be perfect to get you the best Valorant FPS possible. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.